Hey guys, in this video, we are going to design the student grade app. Let me give you a bit of background around this. I have a data service known as student marks. It's a table. Inside this table, I have got name. Let's say ABC. These are the student names. And I've got some three subjects, physics, chemistry and maths. And certain marks I have given to these students on each of the subject. This app is showing the data from the data service. So how do I link the data service data to a table? That is one point that you will learn. How do you create a drop down so that you can select the names of the students that are present in the data service? That is the second learning that you would get. Now, as soon as I select uh, some data, right? So what is happening? It is actually doing a calculation of uh, various data and showing you the total marks. For example, for the student student C, if you add 75.82 C total marks and the percentage that the student C has got and the grade of student C, okay, A grade because it's above 75. So how to design all these conditions? How do you calculate all these things we are going to learn in this one video? So why delay? Let's get started. First of all, I would request you, it's a pretty simple one, create a data service table. Now, in case you are very new and you are not sure how do you create a table in data service, it is quite simple, simply create a new entity, give it a name. For example, I have given a name called student marks. Once it is created, click on this hyperlink from here. Okay. So here you would find that newly created table. Okay, go to the data, it will be first time it will be completely blank. You need to create few fields. So fields nothing but like name, your subjects like physics, chemistry, maths. This is how I have created few fields and you have the option to define what kind of a field. For example, name can be the field of text. If I'm creating a physics, that could be a kind of a number type where I will be storing the number values. So likewise, you can go ahead and create different fields. Okay. So once this is created, now we will focus on the app. How do I create it? So let me delete all that I have got so that we can start everything from scratch. Okay. All right. So this is a container. So I'm going to enlarge this container. Okay. The very first thing that I want is a table. So click here and type table, drag and drop the table. Go to the general section and you need to bind the data service. Now to get the data service into your app, first of all, click on this drop down, click on entity, select that particular uh, table. Here it is student mark selected and click on add, which I have already done it. Once you have added that entity that you have added will be appearing here. You can see the student marks table is appearing here. Click on the tables control, go to the general tab and here all you have to do simply select the data source, put a equals to symbol. It is going to show you this. Now all I need to do is put a, you know, link it to the student marks table. So this is the table. I'm just going to double click. As soon as you do it, all the columns that are present in the student marks table, like name, physics, chemistry, maths, all these three things is going to appear automatically. You have the option to, you know, organize it. Let's say I want physics, chemistry and math. So you can organize it properly. Okay. So once this is done, okay, once this is done, if you hit on preview, um, there is some error. Let me say that. Okay. Let me remove it. So it, you know, this is something I had have, I have designed in, in the past. So leave that. So here you've got the table. I am going to click on preview. Now during the run time, it will try to fetch the data from this data service and it's going to show you live. So you can see it is showing you live. Okay. So all of this thing is fine. Now the next thing what I want, I want to create a drop down. To create a drop down, click on this plus sign and then type drop down. Drag and drop this drop down below this and let's give some name. Um, so I can say select 
student okay select student and then uh, i would like to see the name of the students here so to see the names of the student for this drop down all i am going to do is click on this list source put a equals to symbol and i am going to select the entity which entity i have to select the same table student marks once i select this then i need to select the column that table has got multiple columns now which column do i need i need the name i want to show the names now let's see the difference okay every time you take a step please do experiment and see how it is appearing so this is the next uh, appearance of the app wherein we have added a drop down you can see all of these are appearing fine now here in the select student you can see all the name of the students have appeared fine getting it so two things we have designed now now the next thing what i want i would like to see the moment i select the student it should be able to show me hey what is his total marks for that we will take a simple text box text box number kind okay number type of text box i am going to take i am going to name it what i will name i will say total marks so it is nothing but sum of physics chemistry and maths all the three values so how to show that this is where you have to learn the tricks now the moment i am selecting the student a from this drop down so let's give it some name to the drop down so it becomes easy so here i am going to say students names drop down okay i am giving some name called student names drop down so that it becomes easy to identify this particular uh, drop down now the moment i select something then it should be able to show me the value now for that click on the new page the page where you are working or any container that you are working click on that okay you can also select the container so here i am selecting the container or the page anything is fine this has something called data context okay so i am i have selected the container and this has something called data context click here and put a equals to symbol now how to use data context if you have not if you are not aware this video is is going to help you but again in detail if you have to have an understanding there is a specific video on this but not to worry you can still learn from my explanation on this video too okay if still you have doubt please do visit the other video what i'm going to do i'm going to use a function called lookup there is a function called lookup function okay lookup means like a like in excel you have right lookup you search for a row if uh, where the name is customer a so the moment i go customer a it fetches me the entire row similar way the lookup works like that so i'm going to put a lookup and i'll put to open you know, open and close parenthesis inside this i am going to mention where the data is located the data is located in student marks table okay put a comma and then put two square brackets open and close inside this i am saying the um, always check for entity okay entity where the name comma and within quotes i am putting a equals to symbol and putting a comma all of this how to use lookup or for each of this i have videos okay so so i am not spending taking more time to explain it here because i have already explained in these individual videos but again you can look at it okay you will get the understanding is equals to i am saying the new page drop down so there, there is something called drop down here right students name drop down this one so i am saying anybody who selects this drop down and selects a name if that matches with the student marks dot name then you pull out that entire row that means let's say student a has got some marks in physics chemistry maths so if i am selecting a here then it will go to that student marks table and look for the entire row so it is going to give you the entire row column data getting it okay so once i have that entire row i am going to utilize so this entire row value is there in the container okay this container is going to have that value data context now anything that i am using inside this container i can refer to that specific data context and get the value for example i want to for I'll, before you even go for a total marks let me put put a simple label okay just to explain it how it works so i'm putting some labels here one and let's say i'm going to select student a then i am saying the moment i select student a you should show me the his physics marks so what i will do i'll put a equals to symbol 
you see something created called data context from the data context i am going to select physics so what would happen the moment student a is selected this container has a data context wherein i have written a lookup uh, uh, function right so student a so it, what it will do it will look for that entire row and here i am saying once you find that data context value for that whatever the physics value is you just show me here so i am saying data context dot physics so let's see how it is working let me hit on preview okay so now all the data is, has been pulled from the uh, data service now let's say i'm going to select student a the moment i select student a it should suppose show me the value so let's see what is wrong in this one data physics look at the uh, your lookup table okay sometimes things might be wrong in the lookup table itself uh, okay so anytime you are using um, this one you should not use a double code because you are using uh, directly from the activity right so you don't have to put a double code only for uh, equals to symbol i'm putting a double code okay now let's see return to view now let's say i'm going to select student a now you can see 90 values coming let's say for example i'm selecting student c you can see 75 is showing getting it now if I'm, let's say i'm selecting b see 55 is coming so the moment i select b it will fetch the entire row in that i have looked into data context physics so it is showing the value of physics so you understood this okay just experiment it you will get it it's not a big thing so what is my um, you know what i want to get is i want to get the total marks what i want i want total marks so let's put something a uh, small header and i'm going to say total marks okay total marks and uh, below this let's use a label label okay and i want to show the total marks here so how do i show the total marks is by adding physics chemistry and maths right three different things now to do that let me see if i can utilize this label put a equals to symbol and here i am going to say data context okay so minimize everything just focus on the data context so here i will be adding the physics value i'll put a plus sign i am going to then add uh, let's say match okay i'm going to use a plus sign and then i am going to use uh, the chemistry okay physics maths chemistry okay three things i have added so first see if this is working or not okay so let's hit on preview you can also use a text box there are multiple ways to do the same thing so here uh, everything is appearing for example i am selecting student a you can see it has added 90 93 95 278 now if i select b 160 if i am selecting c 244 getting it okay wonderful so once you get to know this let's repeat the same thing for what so i am going to select this to copy paste and here i would calculate the percentage so i'll say percentage and for the percentage expression uh, so how will you do first is sum right first you do a sum and then uh, divided by let's say each contains 100 out of 100 they are getting so 300 so 300 into 100 right how you calculate percentage so same thing i'll just simply apply the formula equals to sum of all three sum of all three or you can use a set value act, you know rule and then all those things can be done in different different ways so i'm simply using this way so it will get the sum once i get the sum I'm using a parenthesis, open and close parenthesis, divided by 300. And again, I'm using one more parenthesis. Because first, it should calculate this, then, okay. And then, I would like to do uh, multiplied by 100. Come here, put a asterisk mark, and then multiplied by 100. So that should calculate the percentage. So let's see that. Let's hit on preview.
okay so let's say i'm going to select the student a 278 and it is giving 92.6 okay fine and then if i'm selecting b then 160 53.3 percentage okay the moment i say select c then it is saying 244 81 percentage okay so this is the percentage value now you might be having a question rakesh rather than me writing such big can i store all of this into a variable right whatever that value is i want to store it in a variable so let's do that um, so there is an event called click down right uh, click down percentage total marks okay so here instead of instead of this you can also store this the moment you are selecting something here right that can get stored uh, into a variable the moment i select i can write an event value change then you do the expression let's do for one thing okay for percentage let's do it i'm going to create a use set value inside this i'm going to use a variable i've created some few variables grade percentage total marks so i'm going to use a simple variable which currently doesn't have any value onto it now here i will write the expression what i'm writing equals to uh, the data context value so how do you calculate the percentage i am calculating by adding all the three values so physics plus chemistry plus uh, maths and then i'll put it in open and close parenthesis done and then uh, once i add it you divide it by because three subjects 300 marks then i'm going to put a uh, open and close parenthesis okay done then the entire value should be multiplied by 100 to get the percentage so this value is now getting stored where in the percentage getting it so here i am going to use another uh, this one called uh, set values and i am going to use a variable called grade to calculate the grade you have to have some conditions right if so and so thing then you do this right so for that, uh, let's use a couple of if activities. So I'll be using if activity here, if, and I'm going to say compare. What to compare? Compare the percentage equals to value in the percentage. If that is greater than or equals to 75, greater than or equals to 75 the percentage, then you set value of uh, the grade variable as a okay else in the else i can once again i can use if then else and here i am saying if the percentage equals to if the percentage is um, greater than or equals to okay so percentage is uh, greater than or equals to uh, uh greater than what 60 percentage greater than equals to 60 percentage and i can put another compare and say and and uh, percentage equals to percentage less than 70 it, it can be greater than uh, sorry 75 right it should be less than 75 percentage should be greater than equal 60 and less than 75 then you put a set value and you are saying the grade should be b that means anything ranging from 60 to 75 will be kept as b less than 75 grade b okay else you set value of pretty simple is equal to i am going to select the grade and I'm going to say C. Okay, simple. You know how you write if then else. Simply have written greater than 75. You say A. If the percentage is you know greater than 60 but less than 75, then you provide B. If it is um, you know uh, anything else, then C. Okay, anything else, then it should be C. So all the conditions are met and the values are finally getting stored in grade. So all I will do, I'll copy this, this, and this copy paste and here i am going to say instead of percentage i am going to say 
ग्रेट ओके ग्रेट एंड नॉट एबल टू सी दी ओके एक्सप्रेशन नाउ हियर इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन आई एल सिंपली से ग्रेट इज इक्वल टू ग्रेट ओके फाइन सो नाउ एवरीथिंग इज बिल्ट लेट्स हैव अ प्रीव्यू लेट्स सी इट इज वर्किंग और नॉट ओके now you can see from the data service the values has been populated now let me select student a let's say so it has calculated 278 92% but grade c so this calculation is somewhere going wrong okay so what this this some kind of a delay let me do it for again a so now it is showing properly if you see a the moment i say a now it has seen said a grade fine so i'm selecting b b is 160 so c grade that is good now if i'm going to say select c then 244 so it is a a grade okay for first few instances it is not functioning properly maybe some kind of a delay is happening so if i select a now it is saying right a grade so that is this working fine he select b it is saying c grade so i select the student c it is saying he is in a grade okay because to 244 good marks okay so we have seen how how this can be implemented this can be still be improved so please do comment if you have tried this and what are the challenges that you have faced and uh, you know if you could find out why there is a delay uh, in terms of first time when i run it or if there is any other smart way that you could develop okay so forum is open to you please do try and please do comment once you have designed this app so thank you guys we are going to meet once again in our next video till then take care bye bye